first workout, all you need is a couch and a yoga mat, or I'm using a blanket. So let's get started. So first off, we're doing 45 squats. Now we are transitioning into the butterfly stretch, and we will be doing that for 60 seconds. Really breathe into your pelvic area and try to get as deep into the stretch as possible. The longer you do this, the further you will deepen into this stretch, so if you need longer than 60 seconds, then absolutely take it. Next, we're going to transition into a raised plank. So for second trimester, you may be able to perform a regular plank. As you get larger and your core muscles are becoming more strained, we want to do indirect core exercises or very light core exercises. If you can't do it on the couch, you can also do this on a wall. Your back doesn't have to be perfectly straight. You can see that I'm not perfectly straight here. I'm doing what is comfortable with my body and dipping my bum down felt a little too hard on my abdomen so I'm just doing what I can. Cobra is up next. This is an excellent stretch for your abdomen, encouraging them to lengthen as you progress through your pregnancy. I developed SPD, so I don't like having my pelvis on the floor. This is a modified Cobra you can do with the couch, or you can just stand and reach back.
Next, we're going to transition into a glute bridge. Again, we're using the couch here for support. Next, we're transitioning into tadpole or child's pose. Again, this is modified because you can't get your belly onto the floor. So right now I'm in a modified child's pose, but if you wanted to go up on your hands, you would be in more of a tadpole position. The focus here is stretching out those inner thighs. And again, if you need longer than 60 seconds, please take it. You want to sink into the stretch as much as you can. Next, we're transitioning into a seated leg lift. Again, in your first and second trimesters even, you could maybe do leg lifts on the floor, directly targeting those abdomen muscles, but as they become more strained in your third trimester, you really should do more supported indirect abdomen training. So we're going to do these leg lifts on the couch. Next, we're going to transition into a squat stretch. So you're going to want to sit your bum down in a squat. And then you can see I have my elbows on the inside of my knees. And I'm pushing out those legs and just deepening that stretch. If you feel like you're going to fall over in this stretch, you can also do it up against the couch and put your hands on the couch and let your body kind of lean forward onto it.
Next, we're going to transition into a standing leg lift and arm lift. Now, you can do this with light weights for your arms and really work out the back and shoulder muscles. This is an example of indirectly working your core. I'm balancing my body, indirectly activating those core muscles. Next, we're going to go into clams. So this is a very small movement. As you can see, the first few ones, I'm opening up my legs too far. You want the top leg to never go above parallel to the floor. If it helps, point your belly button down and kind of lean forward. You kind of want to be at a 45 to the floor. And again, it's a very small movement. And lastly, we're just going to do your favorite stretch to release at the end of this workout. You can go back to any of the pelvic releases if you'd like. For me, I just wanted to stretch out the back of my legs and touch my toes. And we're all done. Hope you enjoyed that third trimester workout and pelvic floor release. And again, I'm not a doctor, so what works for me may not work for you. These are exercises that I've gathered from all of my specialists, and I've kind of made my own routine out of what they've given me. Okay, thank you for watching, and please like and subscribe, and let me know if you want any other kind of videos like this.